If you've had an orchidectomy for localised testicular cancer, then your good testicle should take over the job of the one that's been removed. In this situation, fertility should be normal. If you do have the operation and you do only have one testicle, it doesn't necessarily affect you getting an erection. You can still perform. The reason we have two testes is we can get away with one and it's kind of designed so we can lose one. So, you know, there's nothing to worry about in that respect. So pay, people shouldn't be worried about pitching up to their doctor and worried about losing a testis if indeed they did have a lump in, in, in their testis. A lot of the young guys that I come across do ask, doesn't it look weird down there if once you've had the operation? It's very easy at the time of surgery or at some time after the operation to put in a, a substitute implant. It's very similar to the type that women sometimes have after having their breast removed, they can have a breast implant. Cosmetically it looks just the same as everyone else's so you've got nothing to worry about when you go to the gym or when you're showering in public after football or anything like that. It, all, it looks just the same as everyone else's. Many patients do have an implant put in and many patients do like it and appreciate it. For me, I was the age of 32, I was married, I had two sons. So it wasn't so much of a priority. But certainly I think if I'd have been the age of 18, single, thinking I was God's gift to women, thinking I've only got one down there, would have been a, a huge issue for me. And I would have probably had it done. So it's whatever you want. It, it, it's you're, Only that person can make the decision. If it is recommended that you have chemotherapy after having an orchidectomy, then it may be recommended that you bank or store some sperm in for later life, as chemotherapy can temporarily cause infertility. We sp store sperm on patients before they have chemotherapy. Irrespective of that, the majority of patients can still have a family, even if they've had chemotherapy. We tend to tell people not to have a family, but try and start having a family immediately after chemotherapy. But years down the line, the majority of our patients, if they're in the right age group and want to have a family, are able to do that. And if that's not possible, they can go on and take the sperm that we've frozen down prior to them having chemotherapy or, or orchidectomy. Obviously, while you're on treatment, the last thing you want to be doing is anything like that. But once you get your fitness levels back, which comes after a few months, you know, you're fine as where you were before.